This week we're really excited to have the Family Arts Festival. We had it last year with a mega day at Penn Green Centre. This year we decided to extend it so it's activities across a whole week, culminating with a huge selection of early years activities um, at Penn Green Centre again. We just had our arts to sessions. I'm absolutely covered from head to toe in paint, but I wouldn't have it any other way. We've done lots of painting, we painted the guitar, we really enjoyed painting on the mirror, we've stuck pom-poms, we've got absolutely soaking, uh, we've done a little bit of everything really. Yes, we have really enjoyed today. My daughter loves art and craft, so that was one of the main reasons why I chose to come to this group and she had a lot of fun. We focus on the process so children can explore all our different activities with no expectations of something at the end. My daughter doesn't really like getting dirty but she's got really stuck in. It's been really nice to see her having so much fun. Definitely I would like to see more events like this mainly because we are quite arty and it's just nice to see my daughter experimenting. Uh, yeah, I'd really like to see more things like this in the future. But I have a one-year-old and a four-year-old and anything like this we love to come to, so the more the, more the better, really. We wanted to start in the early years to make sure children enjoy the process and value the process so they can really explore their imagination and we provide the resources for them to do that. We had families working together, so many of these opportunities are seen for just children. Part of my job is to get adults to tap into their childlike selves. It's been a lovely day. It's been really good to do something completely different. And uh, we had to use our teamwork skills, didn't we? Yeah. So yeah, perfect Sunday afternoon doing something completely out of the ordinary and being creative with my daughter. Yeah, it's been really nice to come to a, a, a local part of Corby that we, we don't often come to and, and experience some really fun activities. I think we've had little kits, we've had little modelling kits at home, haven't we? But it's been nice to come out and do a big, like a big project. Yep, yeah, had lots of fun today. It's been quite creative. We'd love to see more of this sort of thing um, that we can do at the weekends together as a family. I think it's really nice to do something different and events like this really bring the community together. You know, we've seen a few people that we know, so that was really lovely for Rosie, being able to see some, some friendly faces. We've been involved with quite a few creative programmes, but we've never used those cardboard tools before, so that was quite, quite new. Yeah, it was very easy to do. Cutting the cardboard was my favourite bit. Um, the nut bits were really, really easy to twist. I made a house for my elves on the shelves. And um, it was also like a theme park too. These kinds of projects are kind of the spark to let them work together. It's co-produced, it's co-created. So we are actually celebrating our 10th year uh, running our Corby programme this year. It feels like a really lovely way to celebrate part of that, that 10 year recognition of working in and with such amazing communities and amazing families and watching those families move through our activities as, the, as they grow up. It's incredibly important to us that we have this offer of free arts and creative activity for our communities that wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity to do that or think that it's maybe not for them. This is, this is the opportunity for them to try out all these activities and really just go for it and, and enjoy it. Yes, um, I did enjoy it. The kids love it. They're led by themselves. They don't have to follow a specific routine and enjoy themselves. made with money did a takeover session and we made it disco ducks. It's very interactive and they go home feeling happy. 
my daughter loves dancing and when I mentioned to her that we are going to go to a dancing class she was all over the moon she really enjoyed herself when we came here yeah we had a great time we come to Little Ducks uh, every week not just for this session but this was a really good fun there isn't much creativity happening in the community and this is so important in Corby because the engagement in arts is a lot lot less than it would be anywhere else especially in North Northamptonshire so being able to create these community events for free or for a donation of what they can pay is so so important because they are just getting the whole nourishment of what the arts and the creative industry can give to them. We had loads of fun, we played with fireflies, well not real ones. Spending a little bit of extra time with my daughter, building a den and uh, just seeing her really enjoy herself, been really nice. Yes, it's so great to bring art and creative experiences to the families locally in Corby where they can easily access them in places they're familiar with, they can walk to, that have less barriers for them to engage in wonderful creative activities. I think it's really important in Corby to have things like this. It's lovely to have children participating in activities and in the arts. So yeah, it's a fantastic thing to have. So we programmed this this week along with the children at Penn Green Centre. Uh, we did a call out for artists to pitch an idea and then we did the final selection process of three and four year olds. So this whole week has been created by the children who will, who will take part in it and that's really exciting for us. We're, we're really excited to bring a whole host of different artists and um, creative activities to Corby and its families. We can't wait for them to, to enjoy it. We're at Penn Green in Corby at the Family Arts Festival. We are at the Family Festival, which is happening here today, all day pretty much. The children and the adults have had a really enjoyable time, lots of different activities to do all lots of fun things that you probably wouldn't get anywhere else like drama artwork music all sorts of things we're going to play with the giant bubbles we're really looking forward to the sensory play there is an awful lot going on so it might take us the next few hours to get through it all We are having a great day, having a plenty of fun for our little ones and a little bit older. We've got bubbles, a lot of art and craft fun. So far it's going great actually, yes. Well, a lot of things to do for kids. Yes, I think we've tried pretty much everything today, to be honest. There's been a story time, it's been uh, plant making, messy play, and uh, all the outside activities, including the amazing Bubble Man. So yes, we've tried a lot of it. Do you remember what we done, Lottie? Painting. Painting. We've been doing some painting and art today. The best thing that I've done is making like a, a plant. Anything else I enjoyed? Playing with the bubbles with my brother and playing in the sand. It has been a good afternoon, yes. Since we came in today, we had a look at some of the events um, that's on. The boys went and had a play in the sand and we're still going to be looking around for the rest of the day.
at the minute she's making a sock puppet and yeah, she's thoroughly enjoyed herself. Coloured in pots in a bag, made a little flower bomb, which was a good activity because you got to use water and roll it together. Uh, yeah, it's been a lovely day, yeah. Celebrating local artists, reaching out to their community and, you know, sharing their passion with people who, you know, can probably really benefit from it. And lots of laughter and, yeah, it's been a really good day. Events like this are really important for people in Corby. It's a really good chance to connect with other parents, for the children to connect with each other, to experience new things, try new things out, take some risks, and uh, to play. These types of events for Corby, they're like absolutely amazing because obviously uh, like the children have got the opportunity to meet and uh, as well as the parents, to be honest, to socialize and spend some time together, which is really, really important nowadays, I believe. This brings the community together in Corby and it allows the kids to grow and develop more by interacting with other children and learning crafts and skills. Events like this are important for the community in Corby because I think it's really good for the children to get to be able to do like different activities, sensory play, and um, for their development. And it's really nice and accessible at being here in Penn Green. Events like this are really important for people in Corby. Um, like I've said, there's not much like this. It's really accessible for people who can't get to these places normally to do these sorts of things so it's fantastic and vital for everybody to get the chance to come. You've got you know people who are really in in need of you know this type of engagement um, you know and exposure to the arts and and things like that. We came along last year as well just great to see it thriving because the community really benefit from it and just seeing all the all the happy kids and the happy parents as well you know like when you get to see your kids really enjoying activities, you know, it, as a parent, that's also a really rewarding experience. Today has been an absolutely amazing day. It's a follow-up from our um, large celebration that we had here last year and to celebrate Made With Many's 10th anniversary of working in Corby. There were about 600 people that came through the gates today to enjoy and participate in the activities that were available for them. Having um, arts available where it's a low cost or no cost is absolutely crucial for children and families. For them to be able to start in the early years, it should be something that's available for all children and all families. You can see the joy on people's faces. Fantastic day. <laughs> We've had a great time. I enjoy myself today. Yes, really much. 